This is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits, and today I wanted to show you the Cater King Plus. Uh, but they upgraded this one to the tandem axle trailer. Uh, the tandem axle trailer does ride uh, smoother, and uh, some other advantages are, you know, it's not a big problem if, you know, you get a flat tire or what have you, as it would be like a single axle trailer. Uh, now, the tandem axle is going to cost a bit more, so you can check on, with us about pricing if you wanted to upgrade. Uh, now, we've outfitted this unit here with uh, dual propane burners under this griddle. The griddle is removable. Uh, it's got some handles on it, and the next version will probably have the nice CNC cut clean handles. You know, it's got a grease trap that's removable as well. Uh, here's the, the setup with the, the cradle for the propane burners. Uh, if you notice, we got a third line. The third line is a, a propane log starter kit that we installed in the firebox. So you've got a log starter. Now, uh, that log starter burner is removable so you can replace it uh, over time. It also, uh, you know, say you want a larger one. But my advice is on the propane log starters is to have a pretty small propane fire to start them. Uh, you know, as you, uh, if you, if you superheat the fire boxes they, with the propane uh, torching it, uh, they seem to not last as long as, you know, as they should. So that that's one thing to keep in mind with the propane log starter. Uh, this unit here comes with the tailgate, spare tire. Now, the difference between the Cater King Plus and the Cater King Ranch King Edition is the plus will have the lockable bin up front so you can put ice chests or other things in there uh, the ranch king edition will have the grilling pit in the back the log bin and a small lockable area underneath the grilling pit you got a good amount of space to you know haul some tables and wood ice chests other things in there we got our insulated fire box on the unit the two inch thick insulated box we got the reverse flow system installed on it and a gate on the cabinet so you can close the cabinet up when you're wanting to do a small cook uh, that way you don't have to heat up the whole pit every time uh, reverse flows are really good about that and so you got the option of running it. I mean, let's say you just wanted to cook one brisket on this pit. And you could take out the other tuning plates, close the cabinet up, and open the reverse flow stack. And that heat will turn that corner real well and go to that stack, uh, making it a real efficient cook with your wood. Now, we've installed uh, temperature probe ports with the cap on it. Uh, those are pretty cool, so you can run your wire leads for your temp probes into your meat there. Uh, this one here is ordered with the dual lid, you know, just like it is on the Cater King Plus model. Uh, we do artwork, so if you need your company logo on it, we do uh, do some multicolor company logos you will have to give us a few days after we paint the smoker to do that because the paint has to dry and harden first then we can get to doing one color on the sign and then another color uh, the white is actually a CNC cut plate sign and we did the other color the yellow on the background uh, we got the one and a half inch uh, drain system on there for the grease wash. Uh, this system is outfitted with uh, brakes, trailer brakes. 
So it's got a brake box on it and it's got this plug type on the tandem axle. Also a two inch ball valve, uh, sorry, two inch ball for your trailer. And this is the brake. It's uh, an emergency brake. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you for a grilling solution on these is to simply have a lift out coal tray in the cabinet. Now, uh, because you can close off the cabinet and use the main cooker as an independent smoker, uh, you can grill uh, in this cabinet and have multiple levels to put things. You know, like maybe your sausages up top or up here, uh, chicken you know in this level here something like that um you know these steaks fajitas whatever you want to do on the bottom just you know don't put chick raw chicken over it uh so this, yeah this grilling uh tray just slides in there in place of the bottom meat rack and that's a you know a great system people are finding out you can use with this with this cabinet to have a different temperature profile. You can also open the cabinet gate a little bit as well to let some smoke into it as you're grilling. Again, this is Matt with Matt's BBQ Pits and uh, just wanted to show you another trailer pit that we built.